What's going on, man? It's your boy, Big Sale, F-H-O-H, and I see. Check this out. What you're about to see is part four, man. Like I told you, I got about four or five parts of this on my Yonder journey for the month of March 2018 with my man, Bags. I think on this one, we finally make it to the candy shop. So, And again, it was my birthday during all of this, so we had a good time, man. But stay tuned. Get your laugh on, man. And understand this. This video ain't to judge nobody. And we just having fun, man. So shout out to my man, Bags, Central Florida. Next level MC doing this thing. I'm proud of young guy. Hey man, get ready to laugh. It's your boy B C L F H O H and I see. I'm gone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, man. Cream, the first person that I see. What's going on, Cream? Bruce, what's going on? Yeah, man. I love y'all. I truly do. Thank you, baby. Thank you, Miss Creamy Cream. Hmm. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all doing? Y'all see I'm in my little Airbnb. <laughs> Alright. What do we got going on, man? Where's everybody at, man? I know it's early. I know y'all still sleep. Mr. Daryl Smith, thank you for coming to see me yesterday, man, and bringing us something to eat. That was awesome. I owe you still got to finish that domino game, too, player. I had a very important phone call that I had to take, but you still got that ass whooping coming. Just know that we're going to finish it at the Dragons, too. So I think I only needed 10 to, 10 to win, and you needed like 70 or something. So don't worry about it. I got the score. I got to remember it up here. <laughs> I got the score remembered up here. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. So, first off, this is what I want to do. First off, today is my birthday. I am officially 48 years old, according to the, the good white folks that make up the rules. Mm -hmm. So I am 49 years old today. I said 40. I'm 49 years old today. Um, I don't know what 49 look like or supposed to look like. Or you know, all I know is that I believe that um, I look good. I look fly. I look. You know what I'm saying? All that old stuff. But more importantly for me, man, is that I don't think it's. It actually has to do with me being 49 today. I just think that I, I, I mean, I just want to take the time just to truly tell each and every one of you people, each and every one of you people, you families, you friends, that I love you. Um, I know it's my birthday, but I, I just want to thank you, thank you guys for sharing it with me, for celebrating it with me, for being a part of my journey, my entire life. You guys to watch me. Go through ups, go through downs. You guys are watching me gain friends, lose friends, have misunderstandings, you know, bad communication. You know, you guys are watching me go through this whole thing, man. And a lot of people always tell me, <clears throat> you know, what's hell? Well, you know, you kind of bring it on yourself because you're living your life, you know, on social media, you know. Um, and, and I don't know why. I don't know why I chose social media to, to live my life and to, 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 you know, to bring all of this stuff forward to you guys. All I know is this, man, is that whatever I do, I do it from the heart. You know, when I tell you guys I love you, that's from my heart. When I tell you guys, when I bring you guys information, that's from my heart. If I could turn it off or dumb it down or just stop doing it all together, and I've tried, I really have tried to just stop preaching, stop teaching, you know, stop motorcycling. Hell, just say, oh, just ride your motorcycle and don't worry about shit else. And, um, just can't do it, you know, for some reason I can't do it, it is what it is, but I, I love you guys, man, I love you guys more than what you know, each and every one of you, when I get a chance to meet you, um, 
It's just awesome. I take none of it for granted, man. When I tell you I take none of it for granted, I truly don't. Um, one thing I that I do enjoy and that I promise you guys is that I will ride for you. I will ride as long as God allows me to ride so that I can bring you the truth and the best that I can. You feel what I'm saying? That, cause that's what it's all about. You, you know, some of, you know, some of us are in this motorcycle thing, you know, just to have fun. And if that's what you're in it for, then simply say that, man, I'm just here to have fun. I, you know, the culture, the lifestyle, you know, the history, that's not part of me. And, and that's fine and acceptable, I think. But a lot of the people that are in it for more than that, we kind of get upset, man, when we hear conversations like that about, oh, man, I ride my motorcycle or I'm doing this. And, you know, it is what it is, man. But the reason why I ride my motorcycle, the reason why I'm not at home today with my family, I chose to be on the road, was because... Number one, the love that I have for you guys, the love I have for motorcycling, and the love I have for being out there on the road and just seeing different things, you feel what I'm saying? To me, it's more important than my birthday, okay? My birthday to me is an awesome day. I thank God, you know, that I'm recognized for another year. I get thank God that I got another new year. To, to get things right. I thank God for my children. I get to watch them grow. And I, I have had a chance to watch them grow. I'm not as close as them as, as to, to some of my kids as I would love to be. I'm working on that. I want you guys to know I'm not a perfect man. You feel what I'm saying? Not by far. I'm not a perfect man. But one thing about me is that I will, when I'm wrong, I tell you I'm wrong. When I make mistakes, I try my best to correct them. I, and I give you my last. This trip that I'm on right now was really not for me. This was for my man, um, Bags, for my man, Jay. And, um, you know, it it, it just kind of came around my birthday. And I told him, dude, if this is what you want to do, um, let's do it. I got you. And I promise to get you there and, 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 and just get you back, you know, as safe as possible. I will teach you how to get out there. Because, because of his passion is the reason why I'm able to you know, to be out here, man. I mean, it just is what it is. But today, man, I just want to tell all of you, each and every one of you, all 46 of you that are watching, falling off and on, and you know, even on my YouTube channel, I want to tell each and every one of you guys, I love you. I cherish your friendship. I cherish your thoughts. Um, even for my enemies, my so-called enemy, because you can't be my enemy. You cannot like... You cannot be mad at Big Cell because I promise you I'm going to go out of my way to correct whatever it is, to make it right. You know, I'm not going to be no damn fool and, and, and do no dumb shit or, you know, or kiss your ass. But, you know, I, I, I'm going to go out of my way to make it right. If I know that I've wronged you um, or did something you didn't like and you told me, I'm, I'm going to try my best to correct it or explain it. You know, so you can't. I, I don't have no enemies. I really don't, man. I, I really don't. Um I love all of you guys, and it ain't nothing that I wouldn't do for you that I, within that I could do. If I could do it, I, I would do it. I promise you, and and I'm trying my best to to live that way, man, and to be a part of that, you know. Because my my thing of it is, man, is that there is nowhere in the world like the black motorcycle set. Even though right now it's on a bunch of bullshit, the black motorcycle set is on a bunch of bullshit. But there's still nowhere in the world like the black motorcycle set. I would not be. I would not be or know all of you cats if it wasn't for the black motorcycle set. You feel what I'm saying? Um, is there a fix to the black motorcycle set? Some of y'all might say nothing wrong with the black motorcycle set. <clears throat> Whatever, man. I'm just going to do my part to make sure that when it's all said and done, you know, you can respect me for motorcycling. Period. That's, that's my only request. That's my only demand from each one of you guys is to respect me for motorcycling. Um, you know, my, at the end of the day, you only got one life to live. You know, I don't smoke. I don't drink. All I do is all I want to do is ride my motorcycle. And um, I want to bring you guys the truth. I think that the, the black bike set, it's, I know I'm rambling right now today, but I think that the black bike set started off going straight and then somebody turned right somebody turned left and now you know 
it's a lot of personal agendas involved right now. You got a lot of people trying to be the big dog. And yesterday, spending time at the East Bay Dragons, man, and seeing them OGs, you know, just have a good time. And I even had a couple of the um, OGs ask me questions about the bike set. And I'm saying, wait, whoa, wait, wait, not me. I'm asking you questions. They're like, yeah, but brother, we... So it was just awesome, man. And then to see the smile on my man's face. I mean, to see the smile on, on Bag's face, man, dude, that was priceless. To know that he has done something, and he, like he, he said, man, that if I'm going to get out here and represent this thing with you and get out here and be a part of it with you, then my foundation has to be solid. And that's what he was doing. He he, he wants to build his, his foundation solid. So the boy only been riding less than six months. He only had his motorcycle less than six months. He was he was racing before then, small bikes, dirt bikes, whatever. But he's only been on uh, he's only had his Harley for six months. And for him to get out here, and I know y'all been seeing me clown and have fun, man, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that with all of y'all. I don't care who we on the road with, we're gonna have a ball. Uh, we're gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna talk about you, you're gonna talk about me, we're gonna laugh at each other, you know, and um but man, I am so proud of him. On my birthday, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of all of you guys. I'm proud of the stuff that I know about you, the accomplishments, and the accomplishments I don't know about you. But the fact that you're still here, the fact that you're here to share March 11th, 2018, is it 18? Yeah, 2018 with me, man. I just want to thank you guys, and I just want to tell you I love you. I appreciate you um, for everything, man. Um, you guys are wonderful. You guys are awesome. Like I said, I never intended to live my life out on social media. And sometimes my family, you know, they kind of maybe get tired of it. I know Queen is tired of it. She, you know, she's just tired of the social media thing, period. And that's probably only because, you know, we, we open up our hearts and our homes to people. And, you know, we, we've been through a few little raggedy times or whatever, but hey, even for those people, I wish them the best. I love them. Like I said, I have no enemies, man. I really don't. I really don't. So as I turn forty nine, I'm sorry, so I might have said forty eight. I'm probably not trying to get there, but I want my I want my age. So I'm forty nine. I think I look pretty well, you know. Some probably would say yay, some probably would say nay, but you know, uh I think I'm doing pretty good for forty nine, man. I'm out here still able to ride my motorcycle. You know, I still have my vision, all five of my senses, touch, taste, touch, taste, smell, see, hear. So I think I'm doing real pretty good, man. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and I promise you I'm going to do my best to bring you as much knowledge as possible. I promise you. I promise you. Because you deserve it. You deserve to know what you're a part of or what you're connecting yourself to or what you're entwining into your life. And who am I to bring it to you? Just me. Who am I? Just me. Okay. Who am I? Just me. Um, at record, cancel. Um, so that's all I am. I'm not trying to be anybody else for the most part. Uh, uh, okay. I was trying to see something. Okay. Sure. Okay. So. One of the things I want to take this time to say, man, you guys pray for me real quick. I want to say a prayer if you guys don't mind. Hold on. Get this up for here. All right. So, here we go real quick. Most gracious Heavenly Father God, I come to you this day. Number one, Father God, thank you for 49 years of being here on this earth. Father God, I thank you for allowing me to go places, see places, see your creation, see the world, Father God, that I would have never seen had it not been for all of the motorcycle community, for the people involved, for the people sharing different places, different things. Father God, I just thank you for the man that I am and the man that I strive to be and the man that I wish to be. Father God, I ask for your continued grace and mercy, Father God, as you have so much bestowed upon me. Um, every time I get on that motorcycle, every time I wake up, Father God, I just want you to know that I'm grateful for the life, the breath that you give me to breathe. I'm grateful for each and every person that is on this feed, watching this feed, listening to this prayer, will hear this prayer. 
And Father God, I just truly want to thank you for each and every one of my acts that you bless each and every household that is present on his feed today, this morning. Bless them abundantly. Father God, give them health, wealth, and prosperity, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding beyond our wildest imaginations, Father God. Father God, look out for our children, Father God. Look out for all the stuff that's going on around us, Father God. Father God, I want to say a special prayer for my man Bags, his family that he left behind, me, my family that I left behind. Father God, keep them safe and comfort, Father God. Let them know that we're all right out here. We're having a good time and that we're protected by your angels, Father God. Father God, I just thank you. And I just want to pray right now a total blanket prayer, a total blanket prayer for the entire black motorcycle set, the, the whole motorcycle set in general, but especially the black motorcycle set that we can overcome a lot of the adversity, that we can overcome a lot of the personal agendas and a lot of the, the braggadociousness and the, and, the, and the bullying and all the other stuff that's going on, Father God. I ask that you would uplift us, that we may become one, that we may become united, that we may understand, you know, that all of this stuff is, is about living a life. It's about being connected. It's about having, you know, friends, brothers and sisters from different places different times, different zones, the whole nine yards, Father God. So I ask for a special prayer and blessing over the black motorcycle set, Father God. I ask that you would just just lay it all out for us, Father God, and just bless us and give us the strength to overcome and just put us, Father God, into happier times. As we go into these next events, Father God, I even want to pray for Arizona, Father God, for the Phoenix Soul Brother thing. That's a real big event. It's one of the best and enjoyed events, Father God. And I ask that you would cover it in advance. Um... Father God, everywhere we're traveling to, Kings of the South, Houston, bless that. Um, L.A. Rare Breed, Boots and Jeans, bless that. I just thank you for all of the clubs out there, for all of the social clubs, all of the motorcycle clubs, all of the riding clubs. Just thank you. Bless them. Watch over them. Keep us safe. Um, we just want to thank you. 2018, Father God, we ask that you would just give us what we need to just rise above. And these things are more in Jesus Christ's name. I pray forever. Thank you. Amen. All right. So, again, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Thank you guys for everybody that sent me some PayPal, the five dollars, the two dollars. You know, even the people that uh, sent me a dollar and said they would have sent more, but they had already sent the PayPal. You know, y'all got jokes, man. Y'all got jokes, man, for real, man. <laughs> Somebody sent me a dollar on PayPal and said, "Sell." I meant to send ten, but I had already sent the. I had already sent this. How did you already send th this when you still typing the message? But you already sent the money, but you still typing the same message that was sent to the money. Y'all got games, but it is what it is. So thank everybody, man, for the birthday PayPal's. Anybody else that want to do some PayPal's to me? I sure can use it. I'm out here on the road with everything that I can and everything that I got. You can send me any kind of birthday wishes you want to my PayPal via fastheartisonly at gmail.com. I promise you I will enjoy it today, but I'm going to rest up today, man. We're going to need a motorcycle alone today. Um, try to find me a church to go to up here. Um, you know, find me a church to go to. And then uh, probably just relax today, man. So that's my birthday, man. Again, I thank you guys for sharing it with me. I thank you guys for following me. I thank you guys for wanting to hear what I have to say. I thank you guys for challenging me. I thank you guys for, for all of it, man. For real, I truly do, man. For real. Um, Alright? So, love you guys. Again, we are part of the greatest thing ever to exist, and that's the Black Motorcycle Set. It is a difference between the black white black motorcycle set and, a, and the white motorcycle set. So I mean no racial harm or no racial, you know, get out. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Please know what I'm talking about. But anyway, hey, my, my Indian brother, Justin Monroe. Thank you, brother. So I just thank you guys. I love you guys. Enjoy your day. You can call me. Anybody can sing to me. Happy birthday. Um, and we just going to have a good time today, man. I mean, I'm just going to relax. To me, that's a good time, just relaxing and um, go over these stories. Let me see if I can get bags up, man, get him on the camera today. He is hilarious. This guy is awesome. Awesome, awesome dude, man, for real. Uh, tell me, man, what's up? Hey, Kenneth, we're going to talk about that. We, we really is, man. We really is, man. So, 
I love you guys. Happy birthday to me, Big Cell. I love you. I'm going to love myself, man. I'm going to hug myself and mm, kiss myself. So happy birthday to me from y'all. I'll take that. Happy birthday to Big Cell from all of us. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned. More shenanigans on the way. Even today, we're going to have some shenanigans. I promise you. With this dude right here, you can't help but to have shenanigans. I don't give a damn if we eating or just walking down the street. This dude is hilarious, so I love him. But um, I love you guys, too. Thank you for um, sharing your lives with me. Thank you for allowing me to share my life with y'all. All right? It's your boy, Mr. F H O H N I C, and I'm go. What's good, Instagram? Today is your boy's birthday. I turned 49 years old today. I don't know what 49 is supposed to look like. I think I look pretty good to be 49. You know what I'm saying? All 10 fingers, all 10 toes. My God has been good to me. But I want to tell all of you guys that follow me, all of you guys that ever gave me a like, thank you in advance. Thank you for following this social media journey with me. Thank you for even caring about what I have to say, what I post, or any of that stuff, man. I love you guys. Truly, I do it. Even though it's my birthday, I want to say I accept all your birthday wishes, all your birthday donations to my PayPal account, fastheartedsonly at gmail.com via PayPal. Trust me, I, I will appreciate them, I take them, and I, and I hold you in the highest and dearest of friendships. You feel me? So again, man, it's your boy, Big Sun FH Ogis, and I see his birthday today. Happy birthday to me. Thank you in advance for the birthday wishes. Thank you for the Instagram love. I love you guys. And let's get it, baby. It's your boy, Big Sun FH Ogis, and I see it. I'm go! Say, man, bag man in there sleeping. That yonder the wore his ass out. It's down there finna be 10 o'clock. Come on, let's go look. me boy you want to run with me you want to run with me boy that's what you get for calling me out and fucking with yonder i'm gonna give you the day but this killing spree is back on first day in the morning you boy be set up and you see i'm going say man you see what i'm with man one of the greatest things ever do a bag where you at man what you doing bag soaking it all in bag my man, <laughs> my man Bags the white, white boy John, man, we up here at the shop, man. I'm going to get a, bit, a little bit of music put in my bike. No, sir, I need all my bag space. Well, I'm here, man, with the man. The real print machine, baby. Really print some shit, man. Don't worry about it, FHO on the way. Can we come in? Yes, sir. Look at this. That motherfucker print, man. That motherfucker big print. Say, man, listen. If I see an other rare breed, any motherfucking where else I go, these niggas is everywhere. Look, look, look. Everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, about yeah, well. everywhere. Old day motorcycle at the grocery store, nigga. We had the fish market. The nigga just took us in here and told the nigga, "Hey, man, get from behind the counter. We want it all, man." You know what I'm talking? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we got lobster shrimps and steaks and shit, all kind of shit. Shit, the lobster tails and motherfucking layout. You, know, I can't say some of y'all niggas get sensitive when you say the seafood legs. You know what I'm talking? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say. We got seafood legs and all that shit, yo. I don't want nobody to get offended. You feel what I'm saying? But we up in there, man. My partner, yes, man, sir. Rambo, man. I appreciate the hospitality, man. Uh, anytime, brother. That's what we're supposed to do. Much love, man. Hey, man. They finna get on the ground and do some epic shit, too, so stay tuned. More eagles flying high. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Here's the motherfucking Wi-Fi on. Turn the wires off. All right, we here, man. Real quick, man. Where y'all at, man? This ain't gonna take long. So. This whole journey I've been on. Yeah, that's a. This whole journey, me and my man, we doing our thing. You feel what I'm saying? 
We on point. Doing our thing. So, what I was gonna tell you, we get all the way to the bank. Trying to find out, guess what this nigga don't know how to do? What's that? Use cruise control. He been throttling <laughs> all the way across country. All the way, bro. This nigga been throttling. I ain't never, I and ain't this know how to find use. out. He say, man, I want to stop and get me one of them, them, uh, them things that you rest your wrist on. Yeah. I say, nigga, you got a Harley. We don't, we don't use that. Right. You need the cruise control. He say, bro, bro, I, I, I don't know how to use the cruise control. Wow. So, nigga, this whole journey. So, you mean y'all done came all the way from Crop Country? I've been throttling. I'm still throttling. I'm still throttling. know how to throttle. I mean, and, he's, and he's still don't know how to do it. I still know how to do it. Wow. How many did he Oh, we got everybody. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. He still don't know how to do cruise control. So. Okay. Well, y'all have so a I'm, safe I'm, trip <laughs> back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to get him some wrist pads. <laughs> so, I'm going to teach him when we get back, I promise you. What up, Sam? Mr. Matthew Reed. I'm going to have to teach him how to use his cruise control. Because he needs to learn how. But see, then you fucking. Yeah, see, because that might help you smoke. That might be able to allow you to go and pull up one and smoke. You feel what I'm saying? While we, before we pull up, that way we can cut the gas stop down about 45 minutes then. Yeah. We need all that, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We just come from the little fish place, man. My man Rambo, man, that spent down there $400 on motherfucker. Shrimps and crab. Oh, I'm sorry. Shrimps and seafood legs. Almost. Ooh, they almost got me, boy. With them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're on the West Coast. You got to be. You, know, you got to be careful what you say on the West Coast. So we got shrimps, seafood legs, and lobster tails. You know what I'm talking about? You can't say. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You, you got to be careful of that word when you're on the West Coast. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna teach you how to throttle when we get back. I'm gonna teach you how to use your throttle. All right. Cause you got about well, today. You got about at least another <laughs> from LA to there to LA to Houston. That's two. And back to Phoenix. That's three. And then to go home. So you got about another 6,000 more miles to go, man. You feel what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You ready for it? We're going to knock him out, man, like a champ. We're going to knock him out like a champ? We're going to knock him out like a champ. Like a true champ, you know? Yeah. yeah. How many are you going to do? You going to get over the 800 mark? Oh, yeah. We're going to do that in one day. In one day? Y'all here now. We're going to get over 800 in one day. Hey, you gonna we gonna get over eight hundred miles in one day? You promise? I promise. So when you get to Pleasant, I don't want you to turn around and lay back down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I told him. I told him nobody has ever done that. That's nobody been a first. That. Nobody. Oh, they go to the clubhouse right there. Hell, there he had oh, wanted yeah, to see right it. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go around the block. Yeah, go around the block. He had just wanted to see it. Yeah. I told him. I said, now that's one nobody has ever done. He was the first to ever do that. 14 and a half round, round, mile round trip. You had to get something. You had to get something. Something. Steph, man. What's up with it, man? What it do, Steph? Yeah, man. So we're going we gonna to teach him how to use his cruise control, but that's the Hells Angels Clubhouse. That's one of their clubhouse. You see it on the side right there? Yeah. See, you say Hells Angels? Hells Angels Vallejo. Yeah. Normally they got somebody outside standing guard. You can't really take right. pictures. You got your picture? Like Did you get your picture? I got the one. All right, let's go. For come outside and see this nigga and shoot him half dead or something. <laughs> hey, I'll be getting what some points on this car. Yeah, you begin? Oh, they up, oh, they always gonna be up in there now. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. So bags, man. Your 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 promise is 800 or better in one day. Yeah, we, we got to get to Houston, man. We ain't got time to play no games. We're going to swing through L.A., let you hang out at the candy shop. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You hang out for there for a couple of weeks. Get back and ride more tonight, man. Yeah, get, get back, up get packed day. up and all that old shit. Mm -hmm. Time to go in the morning. Killing spree. Killing spree. Huh? I'm good, huh? He ain't got but two takes of gas at the boy. <laughs> he thought about killing spree. So well, let me see what else gonna put him at. Uh, he got two tanks of gas, man. We gonna get to LA. Probably two and maybe three tanks. Oh, oh, he might be a bigger field. Be three tanks, huh? Probably three. Three maybe tanks. Three. Maybe three. Tanks, he'd be good. Yeah, three tanks in the morning. You ought to go and knock that out, man. Yeah. Ain't gonna be none. Ain't gonna be none. Ain't gonna be none. You good to go? Yeah. So. We went to go. Let me tell y'all yeah, something. Let me tell y'all something else too. Listen, when we first started this journey. Pockets was on swole, every stop. They on 
He spent a hundred fifty, two fifty. Oh, money ain't a thing. You know what I'm saying? Lil Puffy ain't got shit on me. None of that type of shit. Yeah, Fuck the cash, money, brothers, yeah, and all that. I ain't able to make no money every day, man. I but I told you that before day, we left. Man. I told you that. Uh, calm down, grasshopper. We still got three more weeks to go. <laughs> you know, nigga, money ain't shit, man. I'm, 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 you upset? I'm doing my thing. I still hope money ain't shit because I'm broke as a motherfucker. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's too late to be fucked up, player. It's too late to be fucked up, player. We need that little check. You ain't got no. Uh, you done bought all the motherfuckers. You done spent five, six hundred since you been here. Yeah, I bought. Yeah, look, look at the girl on the cone over there. Look at the girl. Boy, over. she got this big ass hair okay. pit. She oh, looks yeah. like she got a, uh, she got a weave under her arm. Uh, oh, that's on girl. Yeah, she been happy. She been happy. She been happy. You hear me? She, she got a mustache, a beard, pulling it. Look, she been happy. She is not here with us. She not here with us. She in her own zone. She in her own zone. Baby, we out here on these streets, man. Yes, you feel man. what I'm saying? Anyway, man, yeah, you said what not tomorrow, LA to, to Dallas, huh? Safe travels, y'all doing LA to Houston tomorrow, LA to Dallas. We're gonna do we're going from LA to we're going to LA first, then we're going from LA to Houston. Then you know we're gonna fuck, fuck with them Kings of the South. They got that major shit going on down that way, man, in Houston. Shout out to the team 78. Then we leave Houston to go fuck with them team 48 boys. You feel me? It's going down, man. For real, the real way, man. And y'all say, Bags promised we're going to do at least 800 in one day, man. He, pro- he, he said me. over 800. Oh, oh, he said over 800. Oh, okay. Over 800. So we there, yeah, man. So we're going to leave Tuesday morning. We'll be in Houston oh, we Wednesday be. night. Oh, yeah. No huh? doubt. No doubt? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. We're going to leave, what, 4 in the morning? Probably about 3, 30, 4, you know what I'm saying? Something cool like that, real cool. Get through that desert, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get going, knock that 10. We straight 10. You ain't got to worry about straight 10. Yeah, 91 to the 605 to the 10 and just don't look back. 10 straight 10. Hey, yeah, hey, heavy, what you say? He fucked your pockets up quick. Hey, uh, yeah, he fucked the pocket. He see that he started off with all of the, he started off with all of the, uh, uh, all of the hundreds and the fifties. We down to we down to fifties and twenties now, right? It's <laughs> yeah. Now we had the gas pump, nigga. Now we had first we had to get, yeah. Now we we was at the gas pump. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we was spending racks on racks. Yeah, I, I, hey man, I tried to tell you, man. Yeah, we good now. We gonna get there and back now, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn your lessons. Yeah, right. You learn. You learn. <laughs> By the time I come out here next time, I ain't gonna need that shit. I got everything together. I go home and get my shit back, right? Get your little gear right, get everything right. Get all my, get all my, my HD, you know, pretty stuff. I'll be ready. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't think you're gonna ever get back on your motorcycle again. Huh? That's the same one. That's the same one? That's the same one? So you ain't want it done then? You ain't want it done? And I'm on every set in 2018. You on every set? Wherever it's popping at you. You got something going on, send one for bags. Send one? <laughs> <laughs> bags, they send one? Send me on everybody. I'm coming. You coming back? Yeah, right. Hey, man. I'm down, man. We back on tomorrow, man. The shenanigans. He been re- we been letting him rest up, man. These last couple of days. He been getting his rest on, man. I'm so proud of him, man. Yeah, man. Chillin'. Yeah, chillin'. we gonna get it together, man. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna teach him how to use his cruise control, so that before we get to the gas station, he at least had the weed or the or the whatever the black or the weed out the way. One of them gonna have to be out the way. One of them gotta be out the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm gonna do? I came up with something, y'all. This is what I do. What I came up with is, I want he gonna use his phone as a timer. Every time we stop, he gonna hit the timer so that he can see how long he's been at the gas. Because I'm telling him it's an hour and a half, two hours. He said eight. So he's going to start hitting the timer, and hopefully he'll realize that he got 15 to 20. And I'm giving him 15 to 20. Flacco told you what, 10 to 15? Yeah, let's go, 15. Yeah, he said maximum. Say minute 14, the bike is crunk up. <laughs> I mean, at the minute 14, the minute 15, but we at the corner, pulling in, back on the highway. Look, look at the Batmobile. The original the Batmobile. Batmobile. <laughs> the original Batmobile. Y'all see the original Batmobile over there? He yes, in that motherfucker too. Only on the streets of Oakland. Only on the streets. Yeah, he riding that motherfucker, man. 
the original Batmobile over there, but fuck it. That's yeah, a uh, good pick, Mike. Yeah, so we're going to try to figure out. We're going to hit the timer. Let him hit the timer. Boom, time is that. We're going to give him 15, 20 max. And I'm hopefully, by the time we head, uh, head home. Huh? Look at all that shit. That's all seafood back there. It might look like it. them bags of crab legs. Oh, damn. I, y'all, I didn't mean that. Them bags of seafood legs, shrimp. <laughs> I don't want none of my players upset, man. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to none of my partners, man. You feel us in the real way, man. Anyway, I love y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. It's coming, man. You're going to get some rest today, man. We're going to get it in. Peace.
say, man, we here, man. Yeah, y'all here. And look good. Try to get up. Thank you, baby. Say what's going on, Daddy O was at it. <laughs> what's going on? The glasses. You alright? You too cold? Yeah, I'm on line, dude. Uh, what y'all doing? <laughs> what you doing? Why we stop? Man, shit. <laughs> Well, yeah, man. Huh? I'm about to go to sleep out there, bro. You about to go to sleep? You better drink want, your nine hours or something, nigga. You want to shake that sleep off, man. You want to shake that sleep off? Shit, it's too cold to go to sleep, yeah, nigga. I don't got used to that. I'm all right with that. Oh, you all right with that, huh? I'm all right with that. Remind me to stop fucking with these dark shades. I can't see shit. Fuck this shade shit. I got to go back to I regular. I want to adjust myself, that's all. You just want to do what? Adjust myself. Adjust yourself, huh? Get it together, goddammit. We got somewhere to go, nigga. Get it together, buddy. You know what I'm saying? We should have just went on and went to a gas station. We could have gassed up. Say, man, my man said he had to adjust himself, man. What I'm going to do with him, Dirty? Woo! Woo! Oh, it's cold, though. It is cold as a motherfucker, man. But you on red, I'm on green. I ain't even went past green. Can y'all see that? I'm on green. I don't like to go to red and yellow until it's extreme measures. It's hot, it's cold, but it ain't extreme measures cold. Yeah. Well, who we got on here, man? Real quick, we just taking a quick ride. We just want to show y'all this quick ride, man. Jonathan Darwin, Marcus, Elijah. Mike, what up? Tim Bolo Terrence Ryan Hey Cheeks I'm, I, I called you The number I got for you That motherfucker Disconnected and everything You really need to Call me Cheeks For real man Cause if you don't Call me today I know you ain't Fucking with me For real I done text you Emailed you You promised to call me You ain't did None of that shit Cal what up man I'm still waiting on you Vicky McCall Mike Walker Hey, man, y'all better go check out Go See, uh, my man Go See Cal, that new T-shirt he got coming out. FHO got one coming out that's fire, too. But that one that motherfucker did, that motherfucker going to be major fire. Mike Walker. Who else I got on here? Luke Davis. Bleak MC. Jerick. HD. What up, Choppers? David Hartley. Tony Davis, Aaron Oliver, Daryl Smith. What up? What up, D? David, William, William, Debo, Wayne, Herman. I think I don't got one of my contacts in or something. I don't know what the fuck going on. Mr. Blankenship, what up? Greg, what up? Ira, what up? Keisha Brown, Hamilton, my sister. Y'all gonna get to see three FHO patch holders. Well, three FHO, they ain't gonna win no patch holders club members, but you're gonna get to see three of us together at the same time. On our motorcycle, possibly, if not, just together, period. How much more time you need to adjust, man? I'm about ready, bro. You about ready? I didn't even have my glasses on. You didn't have your glasses on. We gotta stop and get gas anyway now, so we're gonna go by whatever the next gas station is or something. And you can really adjust because I know you got to smoke and all that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got to smoke. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Yeah, it is what it is. But <laughs> them pockets been feeling it. That nigga was talking about them pockets yesterday. Yeah. Y'all still on his ass, too. And them pockets, the nigga. <laughs> woo, woo. That stack that went like this. Woo, woo. He threw it to me the other day. Nigga, the stack was this fat. I had to grab it like this. Now, I, I can pinch the stack now. Give me that one for him. Give me that one for him. Say, man, they said, is the stack still fat, man? What? They said, is the stack still fat? What? The stack, man. The them, 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 them dollar stack. I told him the other day it was that big. I think that motherfucker is about right there now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Did you set him up with the cruise control? Oh, you know what? Let me look at his cruise control right now. No, we, we got to stop and get gas. I promise. When we stop and get gas, I'm going to look at his cruise control. He said it ain't on the left. He said his is on the right side. Anyway, I'm going to set his cruise control. Thank you for that, Christopher. 
Thank you, but I'm going to teach them how to do the cruise control. You ready, man, or what, man? So, anyway. Oh, you know what? Let me let me uh, fix my radio. <laughs> so, I promise you, I'm going to get this cruise control at this gas. We got about, probably about, we're probably stopping about 50 miles or so, and I'm going to do this cruise control. You feel me? He always fucking up the time, man. Stop at the rest there. What the fuck are we stopping at the rest there for? Where you going from, Bay Area? No, no, sir. From, I'm from Georgia. He's from Florida. Georgia and Florida? Yes, sir. Y'all rode way down here? Yes, sir. God is good, brother. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. God is good. God is good. Huh? Where y'all headed to now? L.A. So y'all been down here for how long? We stayed about, about almost about a week in the Bay. So what year is this one here? This is a 15. This what I'm going to get. You going to get what you want? I'm going to get one of these. Okay. It's the, make sure you all get the road glide. Huh? Make sure you get the road glide. The road glide is the best glide. You better than this one? The road glide is the best glide. What about this one? That's the street glide. You don't want a street glide. Why not? Because you gonna you I want know a road glide. I like glide. these here. Yeah, you want a road glide. The road glide is the best glide. What year is yours? Yeah. You got twelve. So y'all all the way down from Florida. He's from Florida. Look at them tags. The tags say Florida. You from Florida too? I'm Atlanta. I'm Georgia. He's Florida. So would y'all just come down here for, for, for something? And, and, and uh... he was talking shit, talking about he wanted to ride his motorcycle. So that's where we ended up at. Shit. <laughs> I can go to New York. You want to come? You want to come to California? Huh? Yeah. He want to. He want to come see some real Crips and Bloods. Oh. I'm from here, 58 years. <laughs> he want to see some real Crips and no, Bloods. Man, you don't want to worry about them, man. You been reading? Hey, he, Y'all about the same age as me, ain't you? I, I'm. I'm 40. I'm 49. You? What up? He's how old are you? Huh? How old are you? You're 44. You 44? 44. 44. He ain't never seen no real Crips of blood. He want to see somebody do the Crip ball. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. You come over down here. You be better off me. You a pretty lady there. I doubt they got that. <laughs> yeah, that part right there, too. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, that Crip stuff. Man, y'all come a long way, man. May God be with y'all, man. Yes, right sir. Up, All the way from Florida, huh? Yes, sir. I can let some of the back of the man. Y'all ain't riding nowhere. I met some guys. Let me show you that. Let me show you. Florida, then what you show them. Then what you tell them. I see the dude with a 2015 with that many miles on it. 93,000? Yes, sir. On a 2015. See, you right. See? That's see, the thing about this one, I like this because this stays still. Uh -huh. That moves. Yeah, that moves. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's what you tell him when you say, I met a dude with a 2015, and he started with zero in 2015. And what you brought this brand new? Brand new off the showroom floor. Yeah, God bless you guys. Yes, I'm gonna sir. Keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. As you should. We need come it. come a long ways, man. Thank you, yo. Come on, man. Let's get this killing spree over with, man. Nice stuff on, man. It's good to see some brothers. Right. Let's get this killing spree over with, man. Yeah. You trying to duck this killing spree, man? Ain't no ducking this killing spree. Bring your ass. What's up, man? Face all puffy. Got me. I've been out here with your ass for a whole week, two weeks riding a motorcycle. It's two weeks now. It's been two weeks. Yeah, you know, woke me out. My ass hurt. I don't even want to sit down. Puffy that gave me a chair. I don't even want that motherfucker. You should have talked to it, nigga. Yeah. Nah, I'm telling you. Say, man, we at the candy shop, man. The nigga that made it, man. Yes, sir. We here, man. Uh -huh. Put your bracket on it. Tell them niggas to step in the game, man. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, ain't, I just ain't made it home. That's why I ain't talking no shit yet. Yeah. yeah. But when I make it home, said, you niggas your better bracket. tighten your shit up. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, tighten them bolts up. So what? And get that motherfucking bike on the road. Yeah. That's what they better do? That's what they better do. My bike got here tan all. Look, the fairing about to come off. My pegs already done fell off. But yeah, that bitch right. Oh, you need to ask Punchy about that fairing. Uh, yeah. Tell him to look at it real quick. Yeah, probably yeah. gonna spend $200. Just shit in there. Some nice ass shit in here. What up, Reg? Uh, it's going down, Flacco. Flacco gave you rookie of the year. Look at Flacco. Flacco, nigga, I appreciate you, boy. What to do, Flacco? 
Hey, for his trophy, we're going to get that nigga a, 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 a metal hat. A metal hat. What is it? What is it? What is it? Why don't that motherfucker Harley Davidson? We all right. It, it needs to be a Harley Davidson hat. It needs to be a Harley Davidson hat. That's right. Oh, this is just the beginning, man. He got a couple of days rest. Yeah. And then we got about a 16, 1700 one wear. He said we're going to knock that down in two days, right? Yeah, we're going to hit that. We're going to do that? Two days? I'm going to stand up for two days and rest my ass. My, my ass hurt. How you at? We ain't, you, been on, you been on bed rest the last couple of days. <laughs> you know, I ain't got no ass. <laughs> and I'm a bone bite here. Shit. And that motherfucker hurt? Yeah, yeah that motherfucker hurt. Bad that roadblock sitting over there. What up, Cal? Waiting on that info, man. Hey, okay, pun. Ready to say, put some allergies in that nigga hat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. What the hell are you, Allen? Hey, y'all, hey, 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 this nigga made it, homie. Let's straight this up. This nigga man. that did some shit that, well, I ain't gonna say to people on your page, because everybody on your page pretty much pretty fucking much. bikes and shit. Yeah. Right. But he done did some shit, nigga, what 85% of these niggas out here ain't gonna do. Well, yeah. y'all heard On some that. real shit, homie. Yeah, man. He, Four days to get here, they'd have spent seven thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Hey man, they got to do a better money management team. Nigga. They drunk. Man, go, go and have a seat, man. Nah, I want to sit out. Can't sit out. <laughs> I don't even want to sit out. Man. <laughs> Raw as a motherfucker. I'm telling you, my ass hurts. Hey, 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 his ass chapped. Like, my ass chapped. With Doctor Ray. Can't sit out, man. But go sit your ass down, every time, man. Every time I stood up, every time you started to the light, I got to stand up. Oh, that way you stand up? Yeah, my ass hurt, man. I thought you were trying to show people your vest or something. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that what you were standing up for. Your ass crazy, man. Hey, man, let's go look at this throttle, though. We're going to show you this cruise control. That's what we're going to do. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, you need to help me out with that. You've been, you been doing that on purpose. I know you wanted me to have my, 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 my four arm. All strong and shit. That's what I want you to do. I can go upside a nigga head if I need to. <laughs> <laughs> My throttle was 3,000 miles. <laughs> yeah, go All the motherfuckers. Are you going to go smoke? Where you going, smoke? I'm going to smoke in the dark, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man. I know all you've been doing is laughing. Hey, man, listen. Listen, man. Then he got the apple hat on me and my ruby from Fat Albert. Oh, he got, I just want to know, because he got about four of them. I just want to know where they come from. The nigga must got a hat rack in his vest or something. That that one of them old motherfuckers that rotate a uh, uh, rat, you know, he hit the little switch and the motherfuckers just rotate. <laughs> huh? How you keep all four of them cuffed up, though? They gotta stay right there. They stay right there? Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so, the, the, different conversations you can add to itself from that part. The conversation? I know you told yourself four or five times. Oh, let me tell you, we we was leaving our soul brothers the other day, nigga. That fog was so thick, that nigga pulled over on the freeway and said, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. I said, nigga, we only got 10 miles to get on less than 10 miles. Huh? <laughs> I said, the bike ain't going to get on by itself, pun. He said, I don't give a fuck how I get on. <laughs> Ready for ignite. Hey, I was probably going to tell you, nigga, fuck that bike. He did. You. That nigga was like. Hey, hey, hey look. I said, well, this is going to be the night, man. I'm going to go after the night. I'm going to tell this motherfucker. I'm going to tell this motherfucker. I'm going to tell this Hey, I told him, man, just follow the white line, man. Stay on the white line, man. You're good to go. Stay on that goddamn line, boy. <laughs> he, he wanted to fight that thing. I said, nigga, we finna, I ain't finna be out here on the goddamn freeway <laughs> tussling with your motherfucking ass. You got to ride your motorcycle home, man. It's far. He told me, I can't see. And the, but listen, though. You can't see, Shady, but the nigga jumped off the motorcycle. He, oh, what you get off the motorcycle for? On the side of the road. I 
I said, where you at? He said, nigga, I'm off the motherfucking motorcycle. The motorcycle down there. I'm off. Nigga, what is you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he was going to do. Say, you going to have to come back and get this money? I said, man, I ain't coming back, man. I said, you're going to have to ride there. I said, man, you're less than 10 miles from the house, man. Then a nigga going over bridges and turns and shit. Then he following, uh, what you call them? They didn't know where the fuck they were going. He just riding. Yeah. I said, why are you following? They don't even know where we're going. They keep, yeah. <laughs> shit, man. <Hey>. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm not killing him, though, punch, but I'm telling him. Listen, what did you say? You said, you know what, Cell, I just appreciate you motivating me to, because I, I didn't know what to do. Nigga, ride that motherfucking motorcycle, man. What do you mean, man? Shit, all of us go through that same shit. Why was your confidence shot? That fog, nigga. I couldn't see. The fog, huh? So you thought I could see better than you? Yeah, you know, you a bet. You been doing this shit. That's your first time. <laughs> hey, did you hear what he just said, bud? I can see in the fog, but he couldn't see. Nigga, it's the same fog. You can't see, I can't see, Shay. You from Cali. You can handle that shit. Oh, because I'm from Cali. I can handle the fog. Yeah. Okay. So then how you off your mind? If, I, if you're going to follow me, because you slagging back, you're not following. <laughs> but, hey, look. That nigga said. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, fuck around and run your ass, nigga, to t- death do you part, nigga. If you can't see, pull over, nigga. Hey, one thing for sure, somebody got to call home and say he dead. He went off a cliff. I already promised his wife. I gave his, I gave his, I gave his people one promise. I gave him one promise that whatever's left, I'll mail to him. <laughs> whatever left, I promise you, you'll get it. I, I don't know what. It you don't want to keep it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Whatever left, I promise you, you'll get it. Whatever it is. Hey, look. Hey, on the real though. Hey, that's my promise. I ain't that kind of nigga. I'm a, I, you know, I don't need no memories of the nigga. None of that shit. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, you don't remember how you drove a nigga to death. <laughs> hey. That motherfucker crazy, boy. Then you, you saw us pull over the dad at the rest area, right? He was, yeah. The, the, we, 70, how far are we from today? Maybe 100 miles for you. I want the rest area. Man, it, I, it's on video. You pull. I said, what we stopping for? You say, man, I'm damn near back here sleep. I said, how the fuck you damn near sleep? You know we was leaving three days ago. How you not resting? What did he say? Ask him. Hey, see, I don't even remember this shit. Hey, y'all don't know we here. I don't even remember it all. So why did we stop at the rest stop today? I just want to readjust a little bit. <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> what did he say? He said he just wanted to readjust a little bit. But then he just said it was me that wanted to stop. We a hundred miles outside. We, we just started a hundred miles later. He got to pull over and readjust. Huh? Sometimes you got to readjust, man. You better readjust while you riding that motherfucking motorcycle. You back there falling asleep. I know that nigga that told us something. How was you falling asleep when you'd had ample time to rest? That's what I want to know. Who the fuck is Apple? I can't go to bed like this. How you do that shit? I'm in the bed at 9.30. Hey, man, this motherfucker crazy, man. You got to go to bed early. That's your problem. Take your ass to bed, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Dying, man. I'm, listen. Then the man, I told you, I told you that we in Vegas. The man in there going off on the goddamn salesman in Vegas because the salesman in Vegas won't take a part back from him that he bought in Wichita, Kansas. Oh, uh, he the, bought it from all these other Yeah, that what he, and that's, that's his argument. 
But it's a goddamn Harley Davidson dealership. The man said, okay, well, listen, at least let me check to make sure that I can warranty the part. He don't want to hear none of that shit. All the money I spent on Harley, I said, nigga, that was... That was your issue? I ain't want to hold you up. You didn't want to hold me up? Give me the 40. The T40 Taurus. So what happened, Sam? He fucked me up. Oh, you fucked me up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Why are you because bagging up to look at the goddamn world? <laughs> What you bagging up though? Yeah. I gotta see what this shit says. Right? You supposed to get on it, nigga. How okay, you gonna bag up? Push it in and, 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 and just the brake. If you already going, huh? Tap the brake or the clutch cut and cut it off. Cut off. Yeah. So you can quit lying to motherfuckers. Talking about I ain't teach you how to work no goddamn cruise control. <laughs> you had him run all the way to fuck down here with no cruise control. I know, control. man. That, he listen, just had that. Like, that nigga like, talk so, about. So, listen, so, we go. Nigga, I had this shit up like this. Then I have to get up on it then. Hold that motherfucker like that. <laughs> yeah, like you should have set that hat on that motherfucker. Yeah. That was. <laughs> <laughs> right at the corner, right? Hey, say you niggas. Say, man. Just like old nigga got some shit he don't know nothing about, nigga. Yeah, about Just to boss some shit up. That nigga been riding, nigga. So you couldn't even just. Oh no, I'm clowning. I'm coming past him, no hands. Yeah, that nigga come by me, no hands, sit back on the couch. Throwing candy wrappers at him. Yeah, he's throwing them at me and shit. He's still here throwing trash at a nigga, bud. That's crazy. This nigga, I'm like, I didn't know he couldn't use them. I'm talking about, hey man, we need to stop. So I can buy me one of them things you put on your uh, on your thing yeah, so you can rest your hey, I said, nigga, we uh, you got a Harley, nigga. We don't, <laughs> you got everything. We don't do that type of shit, man. We're no Harley, man. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here come the rain. I got to lock my bag. Let's put this seat up in there. I might as well take this shit in the house. So you good now? Yeah, you going to cruise control now? I'm good, man. You sure? Yeah. That way they're going to breathe. <laughs> there you go. Got the little rental, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking my man. We're gonna go to Walmart. Nigga sent you a hundred dollars. Do we gotta go for the hundred? <laughs> the nigga already done been to three weed spots. Nigga, what more you want, nigga? <laughs> hey, twist the throttle. The whole way, hey man, the nigga been the Toya, the nigga done twisted the throttle three thousand miles, man. man. Hey, it should be a special pack for some shit like that. Nah, it is a special pack <laughs> called special, nigga. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Get you do, you get one. It's called a helmet, nigga. The back of the bus, nigga. That's what the fuck it's called, nigga. A padded helmet, hey, nigga. nigga. You know what I'm saying? You be a nigga. You know what I mean? What I'm supposed to be. So now it's my fault. So it's my fault now because you don't know how to work your crew control. Of course it's your fault. What you doing, man? Come on, bro. Oh, well, we're in Oakland now. Yeah, no, we're in Oakland. We're in Compton. I mean, we're in LA, nigga. I walk right in the store and got that shit. <laughs> he was sitting there looking at the list like, mm, I, I want some of that coffee or some of that ooey. That nigga say, bruh. Nigga, you walk in the motherfucker. Nigga, it's just a free fall of that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit in Florida, you kill yourself, huh? Mm. Nah, they don't need it in Florida, man. This, this, this shit ain't gonna mess the game up for a lot of people, man. Huh? Just walk in the store and get something to smoke. Don't need it, though. He be about smoking some shit all the whole motherfucker. He did good today. I can't let me tell y'all something. He did good today, man. I mean, he cut his gas out. He had probably about 15, 20 minute yeah, gas. I'm on a bike ready to go, man. You ready to go? I'm ready to That's go. That's your story. Waiting on you, nigga. That's your story. Yeah, I'm waiting on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You so, so let me ask you this. <laughs> what was you doing that you was just like, 17 trailers behind all the time. What oh, was, man. He was trying to get his crew. He was trying to get his car together. Well, well, why oh, was, he was trying Hey, y'all. Hey, now, he trying to show out on the grapevine. He want to... He, he got my glide back there. I'm shaking on the corner and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the glide with Simeon. He got my glide back there shaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got me coming in the corner. I'm doing 90 miles an hour coming in the corner. In the grapevine. In the grapevine. <laughs> 
said, this nigga finna kill me out here. Then he tried to tell me, Cream, at one time my back end swung on me. Nigga, that your back end ain't swung shit. That bitch can't swing out on me, man. Your back end ain't swung out on shit. Yeah, that thing didn't come out on me, man. If your back end had swung out, you would have swung at it, nigga. Oh, now you know how to ride now. That's your skills coming in. That's what that is? That's all that is. Skill. I ain't just getting on a motorcycle. <laughs> man, look, I don't know what I'm going to do with this nigga, man. For real, man. This nigga is off the chain, man. <laughs> so, but we do got that 800, though, on the way to Houston, right? Eight, no less than 800, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to get that in. You want to get that in? Yeah. We good Sun with that. Sun up to sundown, man. Sun up to sundown. Me and my partner. That's right. Hey, oh, hey. Up. We got that cruise now. And this is, this is a call out to any of you. All of you niggas morning. in California that say y'all ride motorcycles, we're going to Houston. We're leaving Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. We're going to leave Houston and go to AZ. You ain't got to go to AZ. Just keep going and come on back to LA or whatever. All it's, it's 1,700 clubs, and each club got at least four members. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? We should got we should have at least twenty people going to Houston, man, to fuck with the Kings of the South, man. That's what I, mean. I don't want to hear that out. shit. I'm talk if if I leave this motherfucker by myself with just me and this nigga, that. I'ma say it like this: You niggas ain't riding no motorcycles, man. That look good, I'm 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 saying it right now. Two, you niggas ain't riding no motorcycles. If, if me if it's just me and this nigga right here that we, li bro, what you, yeah. what, what you gonna tell the West Coast if it's just me and you come Tuesday morning, man? I mean that's a shame. That's a shame. It should be somebody want to ride their motorcycle? It should be at least somebody that want to get on their motorcycle and say, I'm going for a ride. At least somebody, huh? That's right. Because I know once once you get home, what are they going to be able to talk to you about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. 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 They always talk to you about that? No, sir. <laughs> what you say, Al Crickets? Yeah, exactly. That part. I'm telling you, I'm on the way. I'm here till two, Tuesday morning. We pulling out here to Houston, man. It ain't but a little punk ass sixteen hundred miles one way. You know what I'm saying? A little punk ass sixteen hundred one way, man. You feel what I'm saying? And the more to go, the more people to go, the less the room is. We can fuck around by six people go. Room be five dollars a piece, man. <laughs> Yeah, dude. And I and I and, and four five niggas go. I got the tub. I ain't even tripping. You can put me in the bathtub, nigga. I ain't even tripping, but you feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm just saying, man. This Tuesday coming up, we going to uh, going to Houston, Texas. The Kings got their shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? It's going down to Houston chapter, doing it big. I'm calling out all of you motherfuckers in Los Angeles, Gardena. The Hartone, Watts, Long Beach, Compton, all of you niggas. I'm calling you niggas out. Somebody should be able to get on the ground with us come Tuesday morning, man. You feel what I'm saying? Come the Tuesday morning. Independence. The independence, all that. The trike riders. All that. If you gonna fuck around, I'm fuck y'all gonna make me fuck around and ask for the Cat Am riders to come out or something. Oh no. And we don't no, want that. You know we don't want that. <laughs> Yeah, swing shot and shit. She'll cheat in that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say they cheat? Yeah, hey, that shit cheat like a motherfucker, man. Why they cheat? Ain't hey, on no tools, man. I ain't knocking the track. You might got disability and shit, but <laughs> you might got. <laughs> yeah. They might got a disability. Yeah, you might. Cause Let's you know, only all, some of them just just they're lazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> all the track riders ain't no ain't no army veteran. You know what I mean? So in order to get a track, you gotta have a disability. Yeah, you need to be disabled. You need to be disabled. That's it. That's that the only one. That would come out for him. <laughs> I don't know. I thought they were just making a track. Yeah, all them made motorcycles, man. <laughs> 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 that man made motorcycles. So a can't have and a can't have made a motorcycle. Some of them motherfuckers be cheap. Put the kit on the bike. So what is a can't have then if it ain't a motorcycle? It, it, I, I mean, I don't know what the name, the category, the name it, but that's what it, 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 it ain't a motorcycle. So that's not a motorcycle. They can't call. They said they can't be getting yonder with you. Yeah, I mean, no, you know, it's HD, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, but yeah. if they do the same miles you do, they get yonder. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean what? I mean, you might well got a rental car. I mean, <laughs> So you say, if a motherfucker go follow you, you in a can. Cat of two, cat of two. Like, 
<laughs> you said, if a motherfucker gonna follow you in a cab, you might have got him in a car and be yeah, the change vehicle. You gotta take the tool, you know what I mean? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta take all the clothes. I got shit. all this. Make sure everybody get their shit back home. <laughs> My boy, what, what y'all call that man? The, the, the chase vehicle. The chase vehicle. That's what the can't have me. That's what that motherfucker is. That's what that motherfucker is. Hell nah. I think you say the can't have me is the chase vehicle, man. Yes, sir. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, man. Fuck, set me up with this shit, man. Hey, man, I'm just saying. We learned your cruise control. Oh, yeah. You done been to the, to the weed grocery store. I need to work it now. I need to see how man. I... Yeah. You done been to the weed grocery store. Yeah, you straight weed grocery store. Okay. What, what you just eat, though? What you just eat? Oh, this ain't got me over with the uh, chili, chili, pastrami chili cheese fries. Mm. Ooh, wee! Got real the house nigga. Real, real fat nigga. Real fat nigga shit, boy. Mm-hmm. That had to run him by that Louis, by that Tams, man. That Tams and that Louie, man. Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 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 Anyway, so, you yeah, heard it from back, I'm, but I'm telling you. This is my call out to the West Coast. Tuesday morning, man, we're going to pick a meeting spot, man. There should be at least at least 20 of us uh, going down 10, yeah. man. Hmm. It should be it's a straight shot. 10, we're going to get on 10, and we're going to get off at the exit to the hotel, man. Y'all go, y'all go ride the That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. So this is my call out to the, to the, to the West Coast, man, to my L.A. partners, my Gardena partners, Hawthorne, Torrance, Long Beach, Compton, Watts. What other city they got? Uh, El Segundo. Yeah, wherever you at up in this car, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? We need some company, man. I'm tired, I'm tired of it being just me and Bags out here on the road by ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? You tired? You want some company? They ain't got to come. They ain't got to come? They can, though. It'd be cool to have them, though. It'd be cool to have them? Mm-hmm. But how are they going to be able to deal with you, though, once you get back home? Though? Yeah. They can't catch up now. They can't I'm catch up. 20, 24, yeah. 2,500 in already. Hmm. And it's just March, huh? I'm talking about just March. <laughs> 2500 Now, you yeah. have about three grand right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have about three I grand. I see my little mama. That bitch say 21000 miles. That was the other day. When I bought my bike, I had, I think I had like 14. So, let me ask you this, man. Now you done got out there. Yeah. Did you check, did you... Did you uh, uh, overcome any of your fears? What was the scariest thing that you thought? What, what, you, what did you think was going to be the scariest thing? That's the valley. Really, I got to get used to all the turn. The turn? I mean, as far as the West Coast. So that's why the Graveyard wasn't shit to you, huh? Yeah. At, but as far as the West Coast. But the road, as far as uh, now West Coast, ain't nothing but a straight line. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a straight shot, really. Yeah. Everything is straight up and down. Mm-hmm. No lefts, no right. So when we heard, he heard about the Grapevine, his question was, why is... Why is uh, everybody tripping on the grapevine? Because we went, I, I ran through that bitch in 1995 this morning. Yeah, rub, 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 but disrespectful to the grapevine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, I, it was wet, too. It was wet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I ran through that motherfucker. I'm saying the nigga had got that small on me. I ran through that motherfucker. That nigga was being disrespectful in the grapevine. I'm still doing 75, 80, 85, trying yeah. to come in the corner 90. That motherfucker giving that Harley Wobble, boy. I said, hey. <laughs> Tight up, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't be out here, you want, man. Don't, don't be out here in this valley, boy. Please don't. Please. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So your little stories about the grapevine and the wind was blowing. The wind, because that's what I was going. That's what I was going to tell you. Man, too. they had signs warning, telling you how yeah, wind. Like the wind. Yeah. yeah. But that's what I was going to call and tell you that when you look like you're sideways, you is. But don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, other than that, what, other than that, what did what did you overcome that you thought you was gonna? What, what did you think was gonna be the scariest moment on your yonder trip? I ain't lying, bro. I ain't really think about no shit like that. Yeah. We're be honest with you. You just knew you could do it, huh? You just knew you was gonna hold on and ride. I'm out here with bro. Bro, go take care of me. Yeah. We, we gonna ride these motorcycles. That's it. Yeah. I ain't really think about what I had to feel, you know overcome. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know I can, you know, pretty much. Ride a motorcycle. Yeah. I ain't know you gonna make me throttle that motherfucker five thousand miles. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it, it, but yeah. You, so, you, I can't believe that nigga had that motherfucker wide open with his hand the whole way. And he got a crew through a button big as they say crew in front of. Listen, I felt that you know 
I'm talking about all in a couple of times. Yeah. I'm talking about all in. I'm out here. Ah, still, bitch. Ah, all in. Yeah. Like, yeah, that boy shit. But yeah. Fun times, though. I learned a lot out here, I tell you that. Definitely. So there's a lot. difference between traveling and riding and riding your motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And traveling is much fun, though. Yeah. Because, I mean, the city, the average you go do is hit bike night. You know what I mean? Go, you know, go to your. Now that I know you got the clubhouse to go hit up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. It's definitely fun getting yonder, you know. I know putting up going a whole month, yeah, you know, a little stressful, you know what I mean. But and that's just because you're gone, you yeah. You know what I mean, you ain't making your, you know, making your ends, you know, yeah. type shit. But since you learn from this shit, I know, I now I know though, yeah. You know what I mean, so I, you go, got I my... go now, but I know now it ain't enough for me to go hit four, five days, yeah, and then come on back home, yeah. you know what I mean. That ain't nothing. That's, that's just... Yeah. Oh, that's... Be right back. Be right back. Type shit. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Go do that. Go do that a lot. So, you talk to Flacco. You talk yeah. to some of the great Smiley. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And now yeah. that you got a chance to talk to them and, and, and to hear them give you the title Rookie of the Year, they gave him the title. What, yeah. how does that, what does that mean? I'm talking about Flacco then. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that. yeah. that's big right there, yeah. boy. Hey, I'm... Hey. I mean, hey, you know, hey, well, we got a whole year of events to yeah. attend. So... Yeah. They had it already, huh? Right. But you know, that's a big title to hold on to. Man. Hey, coming from Flacco, for sure. From you got, you got to be able to hold on to it. Yeah, he definitely uh, motivated me a little yeah. more. You know what I mean? With that mm-hmm. right there, for sure. But you got to be able to hold on to it, man. Yeah. That's why it, 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 this ain't going to stop. So yeah. you ain't a one hit to quit and no, one and done? Man. I hope ain't none of y'all saying that either. Nah. I, I'm with you. I'm going to drag your ass. You get <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, Tell I, Doc J what you're saying, too. Tell I, Doc, Doc J. What? What you talking? Cause I, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told her. I'm gonna drag Dante. She gonna get drunk. You gonna drag Dante? Doctor J. No. Messing yeah. around with the rookie. Not Doctor J. No, Doc J. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. No. Who? Yeah, he said yeah. he gonna drag. He said he gonna drag. I don't know where she gonna take me at in Arizona. Yeah. But it, it is what it is. Yeah. And yeah. we yeah. gonna we gonna ride the motorcycle, dog. Cut that down. I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> I know Doc's not been doing her thing. She I doing know that. Thing. I got that. And that's why I mess with her. Yeah. Because I know she do her thing. But she in trouble? I, yeah, she is. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I'm in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. She been not start up. She been not start up and, and motorcycle. And you know, she going to take me on some roads that she know. Yeah. That she familiar with. And come back talking. All that there. But she got to leave though. She don't leave. You come back with her, you. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. She got to be able to run off on your lead. And leave me. I don't think she can do that. You don't think she can do that? No, hell no. Hell no. No. Man, no, I got two hundred on that. How you say no, <laughs> sir? No, sir. No, sir. Doc is not finna leave me. Man. She said she got two hundred on Doc. Man, okay. Whatever. Okay. I ain't gonna drag. I ain't gonna you know. You just said you gonna she drag She might want to drag race me. She just, you just said you gonna drag her. We can rewind the live. I can't let no people call me out. No, you go get it. You, you want to drag me, but I'm I'll drag my goddamn you. motorcycle out here fucking with I'll you. Drag, right. Wait, I'll drag you. Why you ain't in Compton? No, you got skills, though. <laughs> I know you got skills. I know you got I'll skills. Da- I'll take one for now, the I know, team. I know you got skills. Doc, I got it. I'll drag you. You done been riding for 14 years. You told me you done been on it for 14 years. That's a long time. It ain't nothing to a giant. And, and then bro told me you I mean, all you on the you, side and shit. Brother already told me. I'm I'm coming for the rookie of the year. Oh okay, all right. You gotta put some miles in. Now. What? Y'all ain't gonna leave. She, she, she tap you on your shoulder, player. <laughs> she tap you on your shoulder, player. That's what that's. See that's what, there? what you gotta do. What you gotta do is this. Yeah. You gotta make the stipulations. All right. You know we well, going far. We yeah, we going far. We ain't doing no. Local, right. in, you know, we got to right. be going somewhere. That's all the bike I got, right? I ain't got no drag bike. Yeah. I got a yonder bike. No, no, you got, yeah, yeah, okay. So we, if you're talking about, you got to drag me getting yonder. Right. Don't drag me in your little town around the yeah, corner. Yeah, And she going to take you down the street in yeah, the back yeah, alley. Yeah, she want to take me around that corner and drag me all around this motherfucker. <laughs> That's right, Doc. Yeah. He said, but ain't no one. I'll drag you yonder. Doc told me, Doc said, uh, boy, bye. <laughs> What by Felicia? Don't <laughs> talk shit, man. Doc J says she gotta have you, man. All right. So, 
what as far as everything I taught you, paying attention to your mile markers, how to read the signs, how to pick the gas stations, what difference does that make for you now? It makes a lot. At first, I wasn't paying no attention. Yeah. I was just bullshitting, following your ass, but, you know, I stay behind you now, now, for sure, watching now. Yeah. Because he, he want to call himself getting on my ass and shit, so I say, all right, I'm going to Because this is the problem. This nigga got, he don't know, know where he going, important. and he want to leave. Right. How you gonna leave and you don't know where you're going? It wasn't it wasn't so much that. It wasn't so much that Tony. It's just I'm in the momentum. And he just know what he's doing. That's all. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just wanna be uh You know what I'm saying? There. So you That's just all it was, So you just feel it yourself and then I shit, yeah. man. That's so, it, so man. we like playing musical chairs. You in the you in the music, I just cut the music off. We ain't in with Zay, man. Huh? We ain't in with Zay. No, no, I said musical chair. Yeah, you play musical chairs at Quantico. But you know. Do you play do you play well, music? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> he didn't have cruise control. So he might want to get out front so he can let his hand rest. Because if he let his hand rest and he 18 trucks behind, he fucked. No. So he I got this. He was back there on the phone. This morning, I was just playing around. You're the player right in yeah. No, but I'm proud of you. did your thing. You came on in this morning. You're not going to buy four and some change. Yeah, like I said, he, had, he, you know, he did his thing on me on, in, in the grapevine now. You know what I mean? You did but, that, though. Yeah, he did that, and I'm telling you, he was hauling that grapevine. He was being disrespectful, though. <laughs> <laughs> he was being bad. He was cold as hell in that motherfucker, too, boy. Damn, what? God damn, cold that bitch. Hey, man. That's what's up. He said, put it out on the table, fam. How do you pick your gas station? The, the biggest way you always want to pick a gas station that ha- a, a stop that has multiple gas stations because the prices will be fair. If you pick a gas, if you pick an exit that only has, if you pick an exit that only has one gas station, then they can charge you whatever they want to charge you because nigga they feel like you stuck. Mm-hmm. So when you pay that six fifty a gallon, you put them to the motherfucker. What part? When, when we pull into the multiple gas station, yeah. and they say they ain't had no 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 uh, all they had was that cheap shit. Uh huh. And you went across the street. Went across the street. But shit like that. Too. But no, the, the real lesson was when we pulled into the, it might have been the second stop. Remember, I was able to, we was able to look to see who had the cheapest gas. And the mobile, I think we went right. to the mobile. They right. had the cheapest gas. Right. But that's the difference. When, you, when you're when you on the highway, mm-hmm. you want to pick a major exit. Not even so much a major. I try to get out of the city. I don't want to pick uh, gas stations in the city because then you got all the traffic trying to get back on the freeway. Mm-hmm. But when you're on the highway, you want to pick a exit. That has multiple gas stations, three or four, or whatever, because like mm-hmm. I said, they're competing for their, they're competing, and the prices sense. have to be down lower. Mm-hmm. If you pick a gas station like we did one year, we picked a gas station in the middle of somewhere that bitch was six o two a gallon. Yeah, for both bikes. Yeah, so, and that's what, so that's how you pick the exit. I'm just telling you, that's 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 one of the travel rules, and that's what I had to teach him. And then also. If you listen, let, let me give you some real, real, real good advice right now. Every one of y'all on here should have ran out of gas on your motorcycle. The reason why you need to run out of gas on your motorcycle on purpose is so that you honestly know when your bike is actually empty. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You actually know, like if you, because this is what I tell everybody: when you get on gas, put your gallon gas tank on there, put your gallon gas can in your saddlebag, and just drive your bike till it run out. And that way. Whenever you're riding somewhere, you're on a, on a long distance trip, you know exactly when you're actually out of gas, so you don't panic. Mm-hmm. The, the main thing on the highway, man, is that you cannot panic. You you have to know, like me, I never panic about gas because I already know, you know, the next gas station is 52 miles away. I might got 60 miles of gas. I can make it. Mm-hmm. I don't like to run like that. I like to run. When I'm at a quarter of a tank, when I hit a quarter, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to the next, I'm, I'm trying to pull into the gas station. Only because for our bikes, you don't want to run the gas all the way out. It's not good for your, for your, for your fuel injectors. You feel what I'm saying? So you always try to, at least when you get to that quarter, you should be filling the top and back off. But you need to know, you need to be able to read the signs. It's okay, the next major town is 32 miles away. In that town, there's going to be a gas station. So, if you looking at your bike, you look at, oh, shit, I know I can go 32 miles. You don't have to panic. You feel what I'm saying? And all, another thing I try to tell people, too, is when you come into a town, don't pick the first gas exit with the gas station. Go to the second or the third exit. The first exit waiting on you. <laughs> he waiting on you. He's going to be the highest pump in the town. 
the second or the third exit is going to have a better price for gas and most likely going to have the better choice of gas. If you can get there. If, you know what I'm saying? If you can get there. But you should be able to get there because most of the towns in the USA, of all the streets, the towns that I've been on, a town going to have anywhere between three to six exits. You feel what I'm saying? So if you can make it the exit, if you make it the exit one, you damn sure can make the exit six. You feel what I'm saying? Not unless you didn't just ran out. But sometimes the miles still be different, bro. You got to still do an average between. And you do. But you got to know that. That's what I'm saying. You got to know where you're going, what you're doing in the whole nine yards. But like I said, for me, for me, I know that when we when, when I leave Vegas, I'm looking at the mile marker. The mile marker was 117 and going down. I mean, we got 117 miles to get out of Vegas. Mm -hmm. So I know I got at least 140 miles left. I ain't got to worry about getting no gas right. in Nevada. I can go on about Nevada. Go to the next day to get gas. So, I mean, it, it, it's it's a combination of things. And Punchy, you're definitely right about, you know, you, you you sometimes you do. And then, like I said, you got to be able to read those blue signs. Those blue signs are gonna tell you next rest area. No more gas within the next 30, 40, 50 miles, and all those different things. You got to know what all of the signs mean and how to read them. So, that's how you get out there and get that. And that's what I've been teaching you. Prez, what's up, Prez, my man, Robert Ramsey, man. Shout out and congratulations on the successful event down there in Alabama. Punchy. You feel what I'm saying, man? I heard it was way big, man. I heard you did your thing as always, so appreciate it on that. Why bags look like... <laughs> they say, nigga, you look like Sammy J, like you stole Sammy Davis Jr. hat. <laughs> Robert, you ain't even right for that. You wrong for that. That nigga say, that nigga, that nigga say you a young... Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Hey, man, you niggas is wild, man. Y'all wild as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, man, they say young Sammy. Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Tap it out. Oh, man. But, yeah, man, we just chilling, man. My girl Cream done put us up for the night, man. Appreciate the love. Man, man listen, man, we've been getting yeah. love the whole trip. How much love you been getting this trip, man? That's what I'm talking about. I can, you know, yeah. stay off my motorcycle. Man, right? these niggas love you for that shit. Man, yeah. road. That's what. That's why you say you can't. You ain't got no choice but to be. Ain't got no choice but to stay on that motherfucker, man. Yeah. Guaranteed, Cream gonna be in Florida and Cream gonna be in Atlanta, and that's, that's what the real. fuck we do. Yeah, that's that's that, man. On them, on them hogs. Okay. Fast heart. Punch say. Punch say. Next time, get your hat like two sizes smaller. That motherfucker too big, man. <laughs> <laughs> Punchy, hey, but me, hey, me and Punchy saw that motherfucker fall out. That we saw it fall out the well. That nigga hat racked today though. <laughs> that nigga, hey, Punchy, tell that nigga we saw that we, hey, that nigga, he was, hey, Punchy looked at what is that? That nigga hat, nigga. That nigga we found it. That nigga got, hey, the nigga got one. He got bags, bags got one of them things in his vest that you push the button and the hats rotate. So <laughs> he got one of them. He got one of them electric things that the hats rotate. So that's why you always see him with different hats. Cause when you hang this one up, he push the button, and the next one pop up, and it, 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 it in the vest how he grab. Cause I'm telling you, it's amazing how you do that shit. That shit is like clockwork. That motherfucker go from helmet to motherfucking shit. Boing boing boing. Oh man. Hey man, hey, I appreciate that, man, Vince. You already know, baby. You already know. That nigga needs some. Hey, that he said, uh. He said, nigga, just punch that motherfucker just appeared. I'm telling you. We don't know how, but that motherfucker just appeared. What up, Trey? Trey C. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> it is what it is, man. But we here, man. We chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the fact that nigga. Let me show you all this bowl of chili cheese fry with pastrami meat. See, this some real West Coast fat nigga shit right here, man. Uh, yeah, this some real. Look at this. Look at that shit right there, man. Chili cheese fries. With pastrami meat, nigga. When I tell you, baby, that shit is serious, fat nigga business. You know what I'm talking about? I got to have every bit of it, man. <laughs> yeah, I got the parts punch. We're going to drop them off in the morning, bring the bikes over there. What time are you going to be at the shop? We're going to be there early to drop the bikes. So it started raining. That's why we didn't come over. If you're at the shop, we can bring the parts over there. We ride over there. We ain't doing shit if you're at the shop. But you're probably at home. It's already 7 o'clock. He said we got to be there before 10, bag. Right. Drop the bikes off at the park. Yeah, we got everything, though, man. I nigga went in the store and bought everything. I had to beat the nigga out the store, man. We good, man. Nigga bought so much shit, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical. I'm thinking the nigga, you know, after this, you do know that this is the fucking side of the menu. After I buy this last bit of oil. You do know somebody, some ass or something involved. I'm like, look here, player. 
I'm just letting you know. Appreciate the love. But you know what I'm talking about? Hey, but he does that what? Oh, he's talking about right there. Anyway, man. So, stay tuned, man. He high, he full. We're we going to get him, man. We got to go to Walmart right now and pick up his little $38 check. You know what I'm talking about? Peace. Say, man, beautiful getting them fork legs changed, all the oil changes, everything. We're changing all the fluids, man. My fat man handling that shit like it ain't nothing, man. You feel me? So y'all stay tuned, man. We getting it right, man. Then we got bags and right to do next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm even on the phone.